Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So for the past few months I have been putting up Android Studio tutorial videos on YouTube. So on one of the videos Shaurya Verma commented that create a video based on card views and how you can go to another activity using card view. So in this video I am going to teach you how you can create a card view inside a scroll view and you can make changes to the card view like adding this corner radius, adding backgrounds to the card view, adding components like image views, text views inside the card views and other stuff. Now when it comes to going from the card view to another layout that I am going to teach you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe so that you will get notified about it. And for now let's get started with this video. My name is Samian Savan. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so this is a new project. Now the only things that I've changed in this project are that I've taken an image which we are going to use later and I've changed the default font of the whole project. So if you don't know how to do it, the links are in the description. And okay, now we have to create a card view, right? So first thing that we have to do to create a card view is that we have to bring in a library inside our project. Now how we are going to do that is first of all, we'll go to project and see this Gradle scripts. So you just have to open this and the second thing build.gradle now just go down here see these dependencies all these are the dependencies and inside we are going to bring in the library now we'll just go to our web browser see this is the site for android developers inside packages see all these packages now we'll go to card view library now this is the library that we want i'm going to link this in the description so that you can access this faster now what we are going to do is we'll just copy this thing we'll go back to our project and what we'll do is we'll just type implementation single quotes and then we'll just paste this now it will show a warning here for the latest version of android don't worry you if you can just press on sync now it will be done once you press on sync now then the gradle has been synced now we'll go back to our main xml file i'll just close this thing okay now this is like our canvas we are going to just type the code and everything will appear here now what we'll do is first of all let's take a nice background color all right so that the card view will be visible properly i'll just go here i'll just see i like this color i'll just copy this and i'll paste it here all right a nice light color done now let's start with the main process first of all what i'm going to do is i'll just convert this to scroll view we don't want constraint i'll just take scroll view so we can add as many cards as we want in the activity done now what we are going to do is i'll just come down here okay now inside the scroll view what we'll do is we'll take a linear layout which uh, which will have the orientation vertical so that we can go adding components like this the card view card views will go like this so let's create that linear layout now the width will match parent height will also match parent i'll just close this hmm. and with that now we'll write android orientation which i said will be vertical done now what we'll do is we'll just type it like this hmm. we want all the components inside the linear layout done okay now once the linear layout is created now we come to the main thing which is the card view what we'll do is we'll just open this and we'll just write c a in small and the card view will appear just hit enter done now the width of the card view we want it to match the parent all right so it, the width will be almost this much all right whatever the width of your screen is the width will match it and then the height which we will take as wrap content because if we take match parent the card will be of the size of your whole screen or basically the whole layout like scroll view okay i'll just close this thing hmm. we want things inside the card view right now here what we'll take is first of all let's take a margin for the top all right which will be 10 sp and then we'll take margin left 
which will also be 10 SP and then margin right which will also be 10 SP then with the margins okay now we'll come down here all right now what we want to do is we want to take the components in here right so what we'll do is we'll just open this all right now we have the card view now inside the card view we want two components which will be the image view and second will be the text view so what we'll do is we'll take another linear layout and we'll set its orientation to horizontal so first this will come image view and then second we'll see the text view so what we'll do is just create a linear layout width of the linear layout will match parent hmm. and then height will wrap content then and then we'll take orientation which will be horizontal done now we'll just close this you want all the components inside it right now first thing that we'll do is we'll take the image view hmm. Now let's take the width of the image view to be 100 and height also 100. Then, now inside the image view, what we're going to do is let's first close this thing. All right, let's take the image inside the image view as RC, hmm, which will be Sam. See, this is the image that I had taken. All right, as you can see, the card has appeared here done now the image is inside the image view and we are done with all almost done with the image part we'll just take a little padding so that it will look good padding will be let's take 5 sp done the image view is here now the second thing which we wanted was the text view let's take a text view all right let it match the parent again height will also match the parent done we'll just Close the image view, we'll go up here. Let's take the text to be my name. Alright. Samihan Savan. Done. Let's give it a size of let's say 30 SP. And then uh, color will be let's say black. then let's take the gravity to be in center okay and the text alignment also will be in the center and padding but from top it will be let's say 30 okay 30 is too far let's take 25 done all right so this is basically how you can create a card view and put things inside it how many ever you want that's your choice i have taken two components which is image view and text view now the second part is we are going to take various card views which will be inside a grid layout now you can take as many rows and columns whichever you want i'm going to show you how you can do that so let's switch to that now this card view is done let's just go down first of all let's create a grid layout okay now the grid layout width will match the parent and let's say the height will wrap the content then i'm just going to close that for now okay now what we'll do is we'll take a little margin at top for the grid layout will be like 10 sp now the most important part of the grid layout which is the number of rows and columns you want so you need to specify that or now we, I had shown there were two rows and two columns right so Android row count 2 and Android column count which will also be 2 done now we can put components inside the grid layout now the components which we want are card layouts right? so let's create a card layout first of all card view inside the card view what elements we want are first of all android the first thing which you are going to take is gravity 
we will take the gravity to be fill all right so if you take like 10 or 12 cards inside this layout then it will fill up the space properly and create a perfect separation between this screen when all the cards are displayed on the screen so you have to fill use fill in layout gravity for that purpose then we'll write android row weight and column weight both you have to specify as one all right let's copy this thing paste it here and instead of row right column then this will be one then the card view all right now once these three things are specified we'll just go down here and just take text view which will like say the numbers of the cards all right wrap content wrap content and then let's take the text to be the numbers right so android text which will be one android text size which will be let's say 20 sp and then android mm, text color as usual which will be black done with the text view okay see the one is appearing here so android text alignment let's keep it center okay and android gravity which will also be center then the one is here now as you can see it filled up the whole space of the grid layout right so what we are going to do is first of all let's just add a little padding from above and below to the text view android padding top which will be let's say 30 sp and android padding bottom which will also be 30 sp then so this is the card now what we'll do is first of all let's go to the grid layout all right now we'll take margin left and right to be 10 sp so that it will match the one with here see this is 10 sp so we'll also create 10 sp here and here margins so margin right will also be 10 sp and then android margin left again 10 sp then the grid layout is this much now what you have to basically do is we'll have to just copy paste these cards but one more one two three concepts we are, i'll have to teach you which are first thing is that you can add corners to these cards and background so first i'll show you how to add corner all right so this is your card now many people struggle with adding these two the main thing here is that usually we write android colon background right so here what we have to write is app colon card background color now you can give whichever background color you want i don't want any background color so i'll just take app now i'll show you the card corner so just write card corner radius and give whichever radius you want let's say 10 let's take 10 sp and we don't want any background color here okay so as you can see the corner radius has been applied so that's how you can give the corner radius and i'll just show you the background let's say what background can we take here any color you can take basically let's take black i'll go back to text view and give the text color to be white then so that's how you can apply background color to any card view you can change anything right so let's control z for now done so that's how you can give corners now the final part which is just copy paste and we'll make it as a grid and we'll change the text inside this so just copy the card view go down paste 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 then so that's how you can add card views now 
see all these are sticked with each other so main part is that before copy pasting this you just have to give a margin to every card view all right so see this card view inside this we will have to mention a particular margin for the card view. all right so let's go back we don't want all this all right corner radius which we had given to be about 10 sp we don't want background color all right so see this is a card view right what we'll do is we'll give android margin which will be 10 sp done now when you copy paste all these cards there will be a little space between all of them see All these card views are ready. Just you can just rename all these numbers, right? Just go down two, three, four, whatever you want. All right, I'm not changing all of these for now. Okay, so that's how you can create a card view, apply background to the card view, apply corner radius to the card view, and then take components inside the card view okay so yeah basically that's the video and now i'm going to run this application on my mobile phone by changing all of these and show you how it looks on the mobile phone i'm also going to change this corner radius to 10 sp let's do that quickly okay app card corner radius which will be 10 sp done this also has 10 sp corner radius so now i'm going to run this okay so this is the application let's click on it as you can see all the cards are visible on the screen this is the first main card and all these are the cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 i just renamed all of the cards to their particular numbers now if you ask me if you rotate the screen will the whole layout get distorted no it won't get distorted as you can see I'll just rotate the screen okay all these cards are perfect so none of it got distorted and as you can see the gap is of 10 SP is still there between all the cards okay we'll just go back to normal and yeah that's it now if you ask me this gap I just changed it while renaming all this stuff I changed this gap from 10 SP to 20 SP that's all and I just added the corner radius which i had already shown you so that's all for the mobile representation let's get back to the video so that's how you can create card view and change all of its components now if you find any value in the video do like the video and share it with your friends who don't know about how to create the card view and do all this stuff and as i said at the start of the video in the next video i'm going to teach you how you can go from a card view to any new kind of layout it can be any kind of layout so that's what i'm going to teach in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you will get notified about that video and yeah thank you for watching the video bye bye